Hey, happy Friday to you. Welcome back to the Friday Funnies. Well, as you know by now, today is Friday the 13th. Well, on Friday, September 13th, 1974, I got married. That makes today, September 13th, 2024, my 50th anniversary, beating all Vegas odds and disproving the bad luck theory. The traditional gifts for a 50th wedding anniversary is gold. So if you're one of those kind people who like to give gifts for momentous occasions like this, gold would be nice. Krugerons, gold bars, nuggets, or jewelry would all be appreciated. Now you probably noticed there were no Friday funnies last week. That's because when I started to write them, I experienced something for the first time. You ever pass a kidney stone? Oh my God, it makes COVID look like a day at the park. The pain is very nasty and has been compared to giving birth. So now I know why women have babies and not men. We couldn't stand the pain. Thankfully, I feel much better today and I'm ready to tear into the fools dominating this week's news. But enough about Tuesday's debate. The following stories are about real people. In Atlanta, Fernando and Maria Cluster are accusing Emory University Hospital of, quote, negligence leading to physical and emotional damage, end quote. Apparently, Fernando went to the hospital for bleeding on the brain, and fixing it required moving, removing a chunk of his skull with the intent of replacing it after surgery. Well, two weeks later, when it was time to replace the chunk they took out, the hospital couldn't find it. So they tried to fix their mistake with a synthetic flap held in place, I guess, by duct tape. But they're hoping to have some, you know, spackle in there real soon. On the positive side, since Fernando now literally has a hole in his head, he can run for political office. We've never had a Dumbass of the Week winner from Venezuela, but now we have one. Nicolas Maduro is the newly elected president of Venezuela, and people have been protesting since his election about instances of corruption in his government. To placate the people, President Maduro proclaimed that Christmas will be moved to October 1st. He hopes this will take their minds off of the political crisis. Well, you can't really think about corruption when you're busy shopping and decorating and cooking, you know? I wonder if that's going to happen here. Because no matter who wins the upcoming election, half of the country is going to be pissed. The winner, to placate the upset half, could clump together St. Patrick's Day, Oktoberfest, and New Year's Eve into a giant lost weekend. Just, just a thought to whomever wins. Doritos are a tasty snack that I find quite edible. And apparently mice like them too. P people who study mice, let's call them, I guess, mouseologists, have discovered that Doritos can turn a mouse's skin transparent. The transparency is caused by the dye tartrazine, also known as yellow five. Mouseologists worldwide are in awe of this new revelation. They can see right through mice. But how far away are they from see-through humans? If you think somebody is big-hearted, you can rub some yellow five on them and find out for sure. My only question is that if all that yellow five, why aren't Doritos invisible? <laughs> Something else to think about. Thanks for joining me this week, my friends. Please listen to my podcast, Another Day Above Ground. That will make you uh, laugh and amuse you and tell your friends about the Friday Funnies. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next Friday.